now 7.30 p.m. and time to call up the two-meter portion of the Rock City Net. The Met Net meets here every Sunday evening at 7.30 p.m. on the Bristol 145.11 repeater and goes for about an hour. The purpose of the net is to build friendship and dedication between all amateur radio operators. We do accept any traffic if you are looking to sell anything, buy, sell, or trade anything pertaining to amateur radio. Your net control tonight is uh, Andrew, KD2, AWT, and I am located in Bergen. Break. When checking in, please give my call sign, net controls call sign, KD2, AWT, Unkey your mic, then please give your call sign name and location. I will first open up check-ins to anybody mobile, portable, um, anyone uh, that's uh, either on a handheld or in, in currently mobile, please call KD2AWT. Okay, one more call for any mobile or portable stations. Please call KD2AWT. Okay, guess not. Um, okay, we'll open it to stations, anyone, any, to any stations, uh, anyone, anywhere looking to check into the Rock City Net, please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT. W-A-2-G-S-L, Whiskey Alpha 2, Golf Sierra Lima. KD2AWT. W-2-JTF, Jep and North Charlie. KD2AWT. 2ERF, Nelson, Ogden. KD2AWT. N2ITN, Steve and Grease. KD2AWT. K2ZX Joe. AC2RL John in around John, go ahead with, uh, is it RL Romeo Lima or RO Romeo Oscar? AC to our Romeo Lima or Romeo Oscar? Uh, Romeo Lima, Radio London. Okay, perfect. Um, Nat would like to acknowledge WA2, Golf Sierra Lima, W2, JTF, KC2, ERF, November 2, ITN, K2ZX, and AC2, RL. Any other stations? Anyone anywhere is welcome. Please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT. KD2, DK, Bob Leroy, no traffic. Uh, just one for checking in. Whiskey 2 Lima, Bravo. KD2AWT. Kilo Delta 2, Charlie Tango Zulu, Don in the mobile. You can show me in and out, Andrew. Uh, Going to be reaching the station shortly. KD2AWT. Please copy KC2GTO Paul and Webster. KD2AWT. A kilo golf two, a delta whiskey sugar. Dennis Webster. KD2AWT. Here is KA2. Charlie Gulf Bravo. KD2 AWT. WA2 EKL. Stephen Chile just in and out. KD2 AWT. W2 GT Doug in Union Spring. Dude. W2TF, Tom and Honey Oi, uh, one piece of traffic list out. Okay, we'll hold.
hold it there, then that would also like to acknowledge KD2DK. W2LV, KD2CTZ, KC2GTO, Kilo Golf 2, Delta Whiskey Sierra, KA2CGB, WA2EKL, and W2GT, W2JT, or W2TF. Okay, so KD2DK, KD2CTZ, and WA2EKL all listed no traffic, so thank you for checking in, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Um, and we'll go down to uh, W2TF for his traffic. Go ahead. Hey, thanks, Andrew. Um, yeah, I've got uh, something that's just been sitting here uh, gathering dust. Not really too much time doing HF Mobile. It's a uh, ICOM 706. It's just a straight 706. Um, it's got the remote, the remote cable, the, the mic. And um, it, it works really well. I had it in the uh, the Jeep uh, last uh, summer for a couple, three months, and uh, uh, it works fine. I, I've worked into Europe on 40 meters with it, believe it or not. And um, everybody knows what an ICOM 706 is. And uh, I've got that probably with a uh, Ford uh, Magnet, big, heavy uh, mobile base with resonators for um, 15 through 80 meters. I think there's a couple of them for uh, 75 meters. So I'm, I'm thinking around 400 or offer. Or uh, if anybody had a Drake MN2000 tuner, uh, I'd be looking to trade for something like that. Anyway, that was all the traffic. Uh, k uh, uh back to you, Andrew. Uh, this is W2TF. W2TF, KD2AWT. Well, that sounds great. That's a nice, um, that's a nice radio there. Uh, very reasonable price. If I didn't have something else in my sights right now, I would probably hit you up in, with that offer. But if you if you still have it a good deal of time from now, which I, I kind of doubt at that price, but if you do, I would be interested. But uh, anyways, um, just uh, just so to reiterate for the net, W2TF has an ICOM 706 for sale. Um, I believe that's all band, all mode, um, 160 through uh, 440, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, all mode. And uh, it's, uh, uh, he, he's uh, asking the reasonable price of uh, 400 for that. So just, so just for reference for that. Okay, um, any other check-ins? We're going to go back to check-ins one more time here before we bring it up to the top of the list. Anyone anywhere is welcome to check-in. Please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT. This is November 2, Giudasco Romeo, David Middlesex. No traffic, in and out. KD2AWT. Kilo Juliet 7, Alpha Victor, Tom and Chalai. KD2 AWT. Kilo Delta 2, Echo Alpha Quebec. Uh, Bob in North Syracuse, no traffic, one for the count. Good evening. Bob, could you go again with your call sign real quick? Uh, sure. KD2 EAQ, uh, Kilo Delta 2, Echo Alpha Quebec. Perfect. KD2 EAQ, we got you there. And um, you're also no traffic. I believe that's what you said. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm almost positive you said no traffic. Uh, any other stations, please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT. Kilo Delta 2, this is November 2, November, November Foxtrot, no traffic, Don in uh, Macedon. KD2AWT. November 2, Golf Lima Sierra, Gary and Henrietta. No traffic, Andrew, just checking in. KD2AWT. Whiskey Alpha 2, Oscar Foxtrot Foxtrot, Keith and Gorham. No traffic, just checking in, Andrew. KD2AWT. 
WP2IID, Ski Bravo 2, India, India Delta. Joe in Bristol, no traffic, and uh, you may be out by the time it gets to me. Over. All right, uh, Net would like to acknowledge November 2, JOR, K7, KJ7AV. Welcome. Nice talking to you at the breakfast, by the way. Uh, we'll have to get together sometime and uh, show you some of the some of the Motorola equipment you're talking about. KD2 EAQ, November 2, November, November Fox, November 2, Golf Lima Sierra, WA2, Oscar Fox Fox, and uh, WB2 IID. Uh, KD2 EAQ in November, KD2 EAQ, November 2, Golf Lima Sierra and WB2 IID all requested no traffic, so thank you and uh, good night if uh, we don't hear from you again. Um, all right, at um, this point I'll leave it open for any last rechecks or check ins before we go to the top of the list, and uh, then we'll go to the top of the list, exhaust this list, and uh, start all over again. Anybody for uh, another check in or recheck, please call KD2 AWT. Recheck. Go ahead. Hey, Andrew, Paul here, KC2GTO. I think it was Tom, I forgot his call, uh, with the ICOM for sale, the 706. Yes, that would be W2TF. Go ahead and call him. Yeah, W2TF, I'd be interested. Uh, how should I get a hold of you? W2TF, KC2GTO. WR2AHL, repeater. Okay, Nat, I'll give it back to you. Maybe Tom will check that again. Might have hopped out or maybe had to drop the mic. Maybe try him in a... Maybe maybe try to recheck a little bit later and then that feel free to... Um, and maybe check QRZ for an email or something, but uh, it sounds like he's not there at the moment. Recheck. Go ahead, Joe. KC2GTO, K2ZX. Yeah, go ahead, Joe. I'll send you his email. Uh, that's a hell of a deal, too. Could, could, could hop in on that one quick. And that's a good deal on that radio. It doesn't have 440, though. It's not the MK2G, just so you know. But uh, it's just a great, great deal. And I'll shoot you his email, uh, Paul. Uh, back to that control, K2ZX. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it did or not. I know it has, it does have two meters, though. And um, I do believe it does sideband, right? That's why I thought if I, if I didn't have our other plans for the money, I would have gotten it just for sideband. But it would also have been nice to have HF in the mobile. But that is one nice radio. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, just uh, all mode two meter six and through one sixty there. Oh, there you go. K two ZX. W two TF. Oh, go ahead. W two TF. Um, you had an interest. Uh, KC two GTO was calling you earlier. Not sure if you had to step away from the radio. I kind of did, and um, just so you know, uh, GTO. Um, uh, you can get me on here anytime, or if I just put another rig uh, on Craigslist, the Kenwood 530SP, the CSP model. So if you want the contact info is on Craigslist under that Kenwood TS530SP. Um, but otherwise, uh, I give you my phone number. Save Joe. The Appreciate Joe jumping in there for that. But uh, uh, yeah, sorry I didn't give any contact info. But uh, my number is. Uh, uh, 739-2074, uh, 739-2074, WTTF out. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Consider it sold. I'll give you a call. KC2GTO back to net. KC2GTO, thank you. This is KD2AWT. Very good. All righty. Um, well, I guess we'll go up to the top of the list now at this point. Uh, at the very top of the list out of quite a few check-ins we've got here, 
Um, we have WA2GSL. Good evening and welcome to the NAP. Good evening, uh, WA2GSL. Name is Ed in Farmington, New York. Um, no traffic, just, just checking in. Not much going on on this end. Uh, I do have a friend looking for a Flex 1500 if anybody has one for sale. Um, otherwise, I am going to say good evening and I'll be clear. Okay, thank you very much for your traffic. We'll break with you next on list W2JTF. How how is it going over there on uh, on in Shiloh, Jeff? Hey, evening, Andrew. Everybody out in the net tonight. Got a large crowd there, Andrew. Uh, man, what a nice day. Got a lot, a lot of stuff done around the house today. Brake job, put new t swap tires around, put summer tires back on, ran coax to the antenna, all kinds of good stuff going on. It's amazing what you're going to do when you get a little sunshine. But uh, other than that, Andrew, uh, nice seeing you at breakfast uh, yesterday, and uh, I'll uh, cut it short because you got a a big group here, so uh, we'll uh, talk to you later. W2JTF, back to you. All right, very good, Jeff. W2JTF, this is KD2AWT. We'll break with you next on the list. KC2ERF, welcome and good evening to you. Uh, good evening, Andrew. Trust and hope it is well your way and each and every one of the operators out there. Uh, yeah, boy, I started drooling when I heard about the S706. Very, very nice radio. And I was thinking also about the sideband side. Um, but uh, as you know well, I work construction, and we're still on uh, layoffs. So um, in, uh, I would say in the next uh, two weeks, we're back to work, and then that's when we start picking up uh, anything and everything that comes up on the net. <laughs> Start stacking up uh, the closet with radios, as we would say up here. But no, beautiful day. Um, I actually, Andrew, uh, I, uh, I went down to Radio Shack, and uh, I got speaker wires, about 75 feet of it, and I made a nice speaker for uh, the two-meter radio, uh, the Yesu, and I have the speaker outside of uh, the house along with 75 foot of uh, telephone wire with a microphone, and I'm sitting outside uh, in my wood-burning stove just enjoying the beautiful day. Uh, KC2ERF, over to our net control. KC2ERF, KD2AWT. Yeah, I can agree with you. I was also drooling when I heard about that 706, and that was a great price. And same thing here. If, uh, if it was a little later in the season, I probably would have snagged it. Um, I'll pro I, th I think that's like the second one I've seen at around that price, too, lately. I think they were both listed up on the net. Very, very good um, good deals there. And I'll probably be in a m in the market for one later on. I, I do want to get a nice um, uh, grab-and-go radio that will do almost everything like that radio would. That would be uh, just a great thing to have. And, and uh, you know, something that I could fashion something into a, a maybe a 50 caliber ammunition can with um and and just you know just have something to grab and go bring camping bring wherever and and have it ready to deploy that that would be my dreams for it but anyways okay thanks for your check in kc2 erf this is kd2 i a a w t and next we have uh and november 2 india fox november N2 ITN. This is Steve up in Greece. Uh, sounds like Nelson's got a pretty nice setup out there. I uh, kind of wish I could sit there with him. Uh, it was a beautiful day. Got a little bit of yard work done today. Uh, breakfast was great yesterday. It's always nice to put some faces to names. Um, just checking in. It sounds like uh, we got a good week in front of us. So everybody have a good night. N2 ITN. Steve in Greece. November 2, India. Tango, November. Sorry, I don't know why I said India Fox. I um, I wrote it down correctly, but I did not say it correctly. So I guess that happens sometimes. Um, OK, 
Okay, very good. Thank you for checking in. November 2, India Tango November. This is KD2AWT. Over to K2ZX. How you doing, Joe? Breakfast was great, and I'm wearing the Rock City Net t-shirt in spirit here. Well, actually, I'm actually wearing it here, but uh, in spirit of the net tonight. Yeah, very good, Andrew. KD2AWT in the group uh, K2ZX. I had to go out in the garage and unplug the subwoofer. It likes to <laughs> likes to hum like crazy when I uh, when I key up here. But uh, antenna's in the garage actually on this radio. But doing well. And uh, oh, what did we do today? I got the vertical mounted out there, but uh, didn't hook it up yet. Too mushy out there. The grass and mud and everything else. So. Got that done. Got a ground rod pound. It's, it's a great day to put in the ground rod, you guys, with the with the soil the way it is. I got it down about six feet. I got another two feet to go. My arm started killing me, so I got to buy one of those uh, one of those pole pounder in or things there. I, I just don't know where the heck they are. They don't have them at Home Depot. What else? Yeah, breakfast was great. Good to see everybody out there. Uh, had a good time. And anybody that's on net that that uh, ordered a shirt. I have them. If you didn't show up, up at breakfast, uh, uh, get a hold of me uh, in an email. I'm good on QRZ, and we'll make sure uh, we hook up and get you your shirts. I'll probably bring a bunch uh, to Drumlin's as well, so if you want to wait that long, just uh, just let me know. But uh, what else? I think that's about it. It was uh, good to see Doug put up that uh, my antenna there. The Enfed, I got one coming, and uh, it's good to see him. Put it up there, and I'm, I'm looking to see uh, looking to see how that uh, any reports on that when he comes around back in. And W2TF, I shot you an email, and SP30 was my first HF rig. I'd love to have another one. <laughs> we'll see what you're asking for. But uh, back to net control, KD2 AWT K2 ZX. Break. Go ahead. Real quick, hey Joe, uh, you can get those uh, steak pounders at Tractor Supply. Um, I know there's one in Brockport. They got them. Back to you, uh, Andrew, W2JTF. Okay, very good. W2JTF, KD2, AWT. Um, okay, next on the list we have, um, we'll, we'll break. We start, last station was, um, Joe, K2ZX, so now we're moving to, uh, AC2RL. Welcome. Good evening. Okay. Um, K KD2AWT and uh, the net. Uh, this is AC2RL, uh, John in Arundaquoit. Um, haven't been on this net for a while. I usually check in on Wednesdays. Um, but I uh, was talking to people yesterday at breakfast and figured I'd give it a try again today. Uh, had a great time at breakfast. I love my shirt. Uh, the price on the shirts was great. Um, that worked out really well. Um, it was a beautiful day. I was, uh, I took down my 80 meter horizontal loop today and was inspecting it and getting it back up and shooting a new line up in the tree with a slingshot. Uh, it was a great day for that. Um, I'm talking to you guys on a little Bofeng uh, uh, walkie talkie here. Uh, up to a ground plane I've got mounted just above my roof, and I would appreciate it if uh, you could tell me how well I'm hitting the repeater here. I don't have a lot of hope uh, that this thing is uh, getting out real well. Anyway, um, KD2AWT uh, and the net, back to you. Well, I you're full quieting, and... I wouldn't have known it was a, a portable radio or a Baofeng, even, even a Baofeng uh, um, attached to an external antenna. You sound great. Hey, check. Go ahead. John, it's one of the best Baofengs I ever heard. We got a good one there. Back to that control. K2ZX. Uh, Joe, all I can think of is that uh, one time, the one time Roy said that uh, that he couldn't believe it was about. <laughs> that was funny. Um, that's all I could think of for some reason. But anyways, um, 
All right. Very good. Yeah, it sounds great. Sounds It's a great sounding radio, so we're glad to have you on the air with it. Uh, we'll break with K- AC2RL. Next on the list, we have KD2 Delta Kilo with uh, no traffic, so we'll follow up after him with W2LB. Good evening. Good evening, Andrew. Good evening to the net. This is W2LB. <laughs> and John, the uh, ball thing sounds great. Not a problem at all. Beautiful audio. You're full quality into the repeater. Uh, don't change anything. <laughs> the problem I, I, I see usually with uh, Bafang users is they talk far, far away from the microphone, uh, and uh, there you have very little deviation as a result. Uh, you apparently are talking on top of the radio and uh, doing a good job. <laughs> uh, don't change anything. Uh, sounds really good. Beautiful day today. Uh, I did not take advantage of uh, doing anything with my antennas. What I ended up doing was uh, getting rid of all the brush, all the branches that were in the yard. Uh, got a ton of uh, uh, branches that fell down from the, all the wind uh, wind storms that we had, and uh, tossed those. What I ended up doing was uh, getting rid of all the brush, all the branches that were in the yard. Uh, got a ton of uh, uh, branches that fell down from the, all the wind uh, wind storms that we had, and uh, tossed those into the fire pit and burnt the majority of them up. Uh, there's still a few left, but uh, uh, we had a nice uh, nice fire going for a while and. Uh, that's what we did for the afternoon. And uh, this week, I guess, is when we'll do taxes. I I haven't gotten to that yet. All right. Uh, uh, good night here tonight, uh, Andrew. Sounds like you got lots of check-ins here. Uh, good evening. Uh, back to net control, W2LB. Green check. Go ahead. Green check. Go ahead with the recheck. Uh, yeah, this is AC2RL again. Uh, I didn't tell you. Uh, the reason the Baofeng sounds so good is that I have a, a Heil HTH uh, boom mic headset uh, attached to it. Yeah, I put a I put a fifty dollar headset on a thirty dollar radio. Go figure. Sounding great. I think I double with somebody. Other station, go ahead. Saying it was sounding great, uh, not a problem. So uh, I don't know. I I had uh, all kinds of good uh, compliments on on my ball thing, and I was just using the uh, the front panel mic. Uh, so uh, uh, every every one is a little bit different. Some are really great, and some are not so great. So. Uh, it's a it's a it's a mix. Uh, back to you, uh, uh, Andrew W. Toby. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. It's kind of hit and miss with the stock microphones, but the Heil microphone is well. That sounds good. So cool, very cool. You probably you probably had you laughing pretty good there. All right, um, next on the list, uh, we'll break with W. Two LV. Next on the list is uh, KD Two Charlie. Tango Zulu, and he is no traffic, so next after him is uh, KC2GTO. Again, um, if uh, you have anything for us, uh, good evening to you, and welcome to the next. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. It was good to see you and all your uh, Motorola toys there at the uh, breakfast, along with your pancakes, and uh, thanks to Joe for a, a great event, as always. Um, to Tom, if you're listening, I'll give you a call after the net. Excited to uh, check out the radio. And uh, like I said, consider it sold. I'd be glad to pick that up. Just got to figure out how to meet up with you. And that's about all I got. As you guys know, I think I'm studying for the general with uh, Justin. I didn't hear him in here, but uh, tests are getting up there. So uh, should be good to take the test here in April. And that's all I got. So, Andrew, I'll give it back to you, sir. KC2GTO. Uh, have a good week, all. All right, KC2GTO, KD2AWT. Well, good luck on your general. That'll make a great uh, radio to get on HF, so you can 
uh, a pre-congratulations for you. We'll break with you next. Now, this is KG2DWS. Welcome to the net, and good evening to you. Hello, Andrew and the group. Uh, not much is going on. I played a little bit in the Mississippi uh, QSO party yesterday. Uh, QRP uh, managed to get 10 stations, seven separate, separate counties. I figured that's not bad for 5 watts with uh, a vertical antenna. Also, uh, today I was working on a bracket where I can hang two uh, MFJ extendable whips below my vertical uh, for like a ground plane effect. Uh, Going to put that up tomorrow and see if that works. Uh, so that's all I've got. Uh, KG2DWS uh, back to net control. DWS. This is KD2AWT. Very good. All right. We'll break with you next on the list is Kilo Alpha 2, Charlie Golf Bravo. Good evening and welcome to the next. WR2AHL Repeater. And good evening, Andrew and uh, the net. KA2CGB. Um, sorry I missed breakfast yesterday. I would have really enjoyed that, but, mm, well, and um, I'll look forward to catching you all on the, another one down the calendar. Um, I was uh, going to second the comment, uh, tractor supply is a place to go. This is for K2ZX uh, for the uh, pole pounder. And uh, I was wondering, Andrew, how's your 147 triple O going? Uh, 146 uh, triple O, or 146.7. That's I think that's what you meant, right? 146.70. Well, your school activity. Well, here's the update on that in case anybody doesn't know. Um, so we had an issue um, with the uh, the finals and the repeater. And, the, the yeah, the finals went, and uh, it was just because I think uh, it was because of um, a lot of traffic on the repeater, and and it uh, it may have upset the the repeater a little too much went over the duty cycle of the repeater. Now here's the thing, we had that, we had it all fine. We had a, a fan cooling system set up on a temperature control timer that they kept it, kept the repeater happy under constant, um, under constant use like that. So it really did have a 100% duty cycle with what, once the, you know, the cooling system was put into place. The problem was, is that the, um, the with the storm that happened, the several storms that happened, all in a short period of time, we had one, we had a few power outages. Now, there's a backup generator for that building, but there were still a few surges. Granted, the whole system was surge protected, so it wasn't the surge that did it, but I'm thinking just the power going out upset the fan controller, even if it was mo momentarily and none of us realized it, and the fans, in my in my theory, the fans, fans did not kick on. It wouldn't have made sense if all of a sudden the finals went. So um, we went up and took took the equipment down and did some testing, and uh, the repeater's putting out uh, less than a watt. And due to the fact that there's another repeater going up there um, uh, under the uh, Xerox Amateur Radio Club, we decided that we were going to, we, we talked with Mike Rink, gained permission to move over to 146.76, which is another repeater in Chile that we did not realize was there as it is listed under Rochester on the per repeater directory. So that's where the club, tr most of the club traffic is going to be moving, but there will still be an amateur radio repeater up in, um, uh, up at that site. I will still be controlling 
that site and that repeater is going to be sponsored by uh, Xerox Amateur Radio uh, Club. And uh, it is going to be, I can't remember the frequency, but it's going to be um, a analog fusion and D-Star capable radio. So it will be all three of those modes uh, in, in one repeater. So, um, so that's, that's the update on what's going on. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, back over to you, KD2AWT. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. Let me drop in case somebody wants to get in. At any rate, um, thank you for the update. That was very informative. Um, <clears throat> sorry you're not going to have P25 capability on that, hi, hi. But very good. Back to the net. Um, Thanks, and have a great evening, everybody. K2CGB, back to KD2AWT. KD2CGB, this is KD2AWT, KA2CJB, sorry. Yep, um, well, it was it was kind of a collaborative decision to, um, to, to move to the other repeater because it just, well, with permission of Mike, it, it performs better. Um, and uh, we just didn't, we felt that it, it might be easier to, to not have to add, you know, push, push two repeaters right next to each other and wor worry about any other issues we might cause each other. So um, the owner of the majority of the equipment, Justin, decided that, uh, that he wanted to take the equipment down and, uh, and move over to 760, which if anybody is um, looking for a repeater on the west side, um, I didn't even know it existed until very recently. So if anybody wants to try that out, I believe it's 146.760, and it's uh, PL of 110.9. And uh, the call is WR2AHL, the same as this repeater, but it is not linked to anything. It is standalone. Um, but, uh, yep, thank you for asking that question, and uh, that's, that's how we're proceeding. Um, okay, we'll break with you. KA2 CGB. Next on the list, we have WA2 EKL, who uh, marked as no traffic. So next after him is uh, W2 GT. Good evening. Good evening, Andrew. Everybody listening? Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I didn't know uh, that repeater existed until uh, yesterday. Um, it was great to see everybody. I've had quite a radioactive uh, weekend between uh, yesterday morning and yesterday afternoon was a neat contact. I came back and decided I'd play a little bit in the uh, listen, at least, to the AM rally. And I happened to run into uh, 40 meter AM. A gentleman in Indiana, his call was uh, Whiskey Nine Golf Tango. So uh, I had to give him a call, and we had a, quite a nice long chat on 40 meter AM, which is, was new for me. And uh, anyway, but um, let me see. I got out a little bit today. Got a little muddy, but I got a, a uh, antenna up just temporarily. It just seemed to be. Uh, it was good to get out and do something, even if it was something that um, was, you know, temporary or whatever. But I did put up that uh, and fed half waves. It uh, uh, seems to, uh, at least the, the, uh, on the analyzer, it looked quite good. It seemed a little bit noisy, but the, the bands were just totally horrible. Uh, early afternoon, um, I was playing with it here an hour or so ago. And it didn't seem quite as noisy as it did uh, uh, earlier. So apparently, whatever was attacking Earth, <laughs> um, uh, it perceived uh, that antenna perceived the uh, noise more than my Carolina Wyndham. But uh, I'm going to leave it up for a few days, and we'll uh, we'll keep everybody posted. Um, I think that is about it. If I didn't say it, it was great to see everybody yesterday morning. It, uh, Certainly was. Those are those are fun. Thanks, Joe, for for putting them together. Uh, back to net control. W two G. 
All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, W2GT, this is KD2AWT. And um, I did get that frequency right. I, I just want to make sure I'm not familiar with it enough yet to know if I was on the ball with that. But that was the right frequency, right, Doug? Maybe um, I'm going to look it up here and just, just confirm that. But uh, anyways, um, next on the list we have W2TF. Good evening and welcome to the net. W-R-2-A-H-L, repeater. Okay, looks like he may have left. Um, next on the list, N-2-J-O-R, no traffic. So we'll jump down to K-J-7, Alpha Victor. Good evening, welcome to the next. Hi, Andrew. Um... Breakfast was good yesterday. I had a compliment to Joe on his uh, choice of places in the crowd that showed up. I've got one thing for sale here. I've got, I'm still trying to unload, or uh, no, it's trying to sell <laughs> this uh, tube caddy with about 200 tubes in it. It's a GE tube caddy for $75 if anybody's interested in tubes. And I guess that's about it. Good to see everybody, like I said, and I'll turn it back to the net. Over. All right, perfect. Thank you for checking in, and uh, good uh, good see seeing you yesterday. And like I said, we'll we'll get together and uh, look at some of the Motorola radios. Um, and uh, I just checked to confirm it is 146.760, so that is the correct frequency. Like I said, if anybody wants to try that out, WR2AHL. Standalone repeater south of Chai Lai, um, right, right off of Union Street, actually. I mean, not off of it, but very easily seen um, just before the um, the I-90 there, uh, up on a pretty good tower. Um, all right. Um, where were we? Uh, next on the list, KD2 EAQ, no traffic. So... After him is November 2, November, November Fox. Good evening. Welcome to the net. Just uh, checked in. Uh, no traffic. Uh, hearing everybody really good. Uh, have a good evening. All right. Thank you. Um, we'll break with November 2, November, November Fox. N2GLS, WA2OFF, and WB2IID all checked in. No traffic. So... We'll open it up for any rechecks or check-ins looking to check into the Rock City Net. Please call KD2AWT. KD2AWT. This is N2IZX. Good evening, N2, and got a question for you. KD2AWT. WG2B. The name is Dick. No traffic. KD2AWT. KD2 AWT, KA2 ISM, Larry in Pittsburgh. Okay, the net would like to acknowledge N2 IZX, WG2B, no traffic, KD2 AJT, and KA2 ISM. All right, we'll go over to uh, Lynn. Um, go ahead with your question. It was uh, good, uh, good seeing you yesterday, by the way. Yes, uh, a great uh, breakfast for all. And uh, those who didn't make it, well, you missed a good one and probably will be there next month if um, I'm in town. We'll sort that out as we get closer. In any event, uh, Andrew, uh, just for grins, uh, I did uh, put in 7-6. Uh, and overrode uh, 147 uh, 285 Batavia repeater, which I noticed is off the air. Uh, any reason why, or is it no longer? Well, I was just using it earlier today. Hold on, wait one, just for a second. KD2 AWT.
Lynn, I forgot all about your antenna. I'll get to you soon, though. <laughs> I forgot all about it. K2's on it. That's okay, Joe. I kind of uh, watched a movie with my wife and watched the Yankees uh, stink. Uh, Tanana couldn't cut it today. Let me know when you come by. You know, I'm close enough. I don't think it's going to fall tomorrow. Okay. Well, uh, we'll look bad then. Net control here. K2 ZX. N2I ZX, KD2AWT. Go ahead. So I just went over to Batavia, 147, um, 285, I believe it is, and uh, I was able to key it up. I don't know if uh, you're just not able to hit it from your current location. Repeater um, has been under, um, they switched the repeater. It's a fusion-capable repeater now, it, so mostly used on analog, but fusion-capable. I don't know if that has anything to do with potential effects on the performance due to the, um, the decreased isolation in, in that particular repeater. Um, but And I don't know how long it's been since you tried to key it up, but I, I just keyed it up. Sometimes I actually have a tr I actually have trouble getting in from Virgin. Usually I'm, I'm told that I'm about 20% noise. Well, I'm in Greece, and I gave it 50 watts, so uh, maybe I didn't key it up long enough. And eh, no big deal. Uh, no one I know on it anyway, so I uh, killed that memory and put in uh, a 7.6. And I thought that repeater was still down in spring water, because <laughs> I remember when uh, Pat Sheehy had it. I thought someone else took it over at that site, so that was news yesterday when you guys told me that it's now in Chile. Believe me, it's, it was news to a lot of us. Um, I first heard it... Um, when I was at one of the Batavia Club meetings, a few, uh, was it Bill, WB2GHZ, and um, I don't know if any of you guys know Paul, K, uh, uh, KD2PTM. They usually chat on that repeater, apparently. Paul's located in Leroy, and Bill, of course, is in Chile. And it worked great for him. And that's where I first found out about it a couple months ago, and then I guess... Um, I, I've kind of forgot about it and was re-reminded of it when uh, when Justin and, and Jeff were talking about it and um, and it's it's pretty neat that it was there. Just didn't know it was under our noses the whole time. I don't know how long it's been there, but I know it's been at least a few years, if not longer. Um, but it's it's a good performing repeater. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's great. Well, I'm glad I'm glad uh, that you you should. You should make it into it absolutely fine um, for its location. I actually carried it all the way to Batavia just fine as well, which I was able to do on the, the uh, 7 -0 when it was still up. But uh, once he got into Batavia, the, the, um, the, the city building started really affecting the signal, which isn't any... Okay, very good. Well, 670, oh, that frees up a pair and uh, over in, I think it was Loud, New York, or somewhere uh, down east. So, And we got enough repeaters anyway, so it all worked out good for you guys. All right, I'll let you carry on. I'm going to skedaddle and head upstairs, and uh, uh, we'll probably be in next Sunday. N2 Eyes at X, back to net. All right, thank you, Lynn. We'll... Uh Hopefully see you at the next breakfast. Hopefully I'll make it to the next breakfast. I don't know. I know Saturdays are going to be pretty tough coming up here. Um, but uh, at, least I, at least I made it to one, right? Um, N2I ZX, this is KD2AWT. Over to WG2B, who has marked no traffic, so we'll go to uh, kd 2 a Welcome, Louise, and how are you doing tonight? This is KD2AJT, doing very good. Hope everybody's having a great day, sounds like it. And looking forward to drumlins in a few weeks. And glad we got some nice weather, at least for this week. And was wondering as far as how am I coming in, and is the signal quiet? Back to uh, kd 2 this is KD2HAT. Oh, very good, Louise. Well, your signal is, is not quiet, and uh, it's 
well, it's full quieting in the repeater, but it's not quiet. It's not per, per se loud either. It's a very good happy medium. W-R-2-A-H-L, repeater. Roger that. Thanks very much, and everybody have a great week, and stay safe and well. KB2-AJT, saying good night. Roger. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, you know, 
Got a couple of curveballs thrown my way in the last couple of days. A lot of bad news. Things I need to deal with. So I might have to put some ham radio on the back burner. And uh, hopefully we get all this straightened out and worked out. And, uh, yeah. So, um, but we just had a just a quiet day. Stayed in the house. Got some rest. And uh, hopefully everything works out. Uh, it's Katie 2 DKB back to Katie 2 AWT. Oh, very good, Mitch. Well, glad to hear that things are going well and you're, everything's going smoothly. Okay, um, we'll break with Katie 2 DKB. Any other check ins or recheck? Please recheck. don't forget that we also have a 75 meter portion on 3.826 megahertz at 8 p.m. on Wednesday nights, pre-net at 7.30, but the official net starts to, starts at 8 p.m. and goes till 9. Um, I'd like to thank all that checked in and wish everyone a great week ahead. I will now turn the repeater back to normal amateur use. 73s, everyone, and have a great week. This is KD2AWT.